Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, absolutely I can. And I was exactly. wondering, it's absolutely fine if not, would you be able to write something for Cox? I want him to be an actress when I'm up, well, now, <laughs> but obviously I'm needing some advice, so I was wondering if you could write something down to like give me inspiration to keep going and stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, alright. No pressure, Sounds by the no way. <laughs> no, no pressure. I'm so bad at words and stuff. You actually said more than I thought you were going to say then, you did shout at her, so that was good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I know somebody else has been doing it. Is that the most? Oh, no, they're not meant to. That is like that other picture that you were selling down there, isn't it? You didn't get... You got the other one, though, a child. I also wanted to say thank you as well because like whenever I'm anxious and stuff because I suffer from anxiety like I watch strange things and you're like rolling strange things with Yeah, thank you. Sorry. No, don't be sorry at all. I know. Hi. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you for saying that and I'm, I'm really happy here that it helps. And it's so nice don't to meet you. Hi. 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 Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Hiya. Hi. Oh my god. This is so sweet. I am going to wear this. Oh my god. And you made this. Yeah. That is amazing. I love it. Wow. You did a really good job in showing things, by the way. Thank you. Really, really good. Cool. That is so sweet of you. And you also sang my favourite song. She doesn't obviously know what Never Ending Story is, but I was there with you. That is, I I loved the movie as well yeah. before I was ever in the show. She says it's too old to watch, so oh, no, no, start no, no, watching no. it. Definitely, definitely give it a try. When, when you have the time, it's, yeah. it is actually, it's very good. Cool. Yeah. When we came last year, the Luck Dragon was here. Yeah. And she was like, what is that? What, what is that? And I was like, like oh my god. Love dragon? Yeah, just his head. But he was here, and then obviously yeah. the horse was here in the swamp. So like it's props so you could take pictures. That's and she was like, me as a child. Like, so yeah. sad. She, she, she was looking as like, I don't understand what it is, what it's about, what do I need to do? I was like, I need to educate you a little bit. I had a great pony at the same time, and that was just like, yeah. <gasps> That's so upsetting. She needs to watch it. It is, it is a very good pony. Yeah. But I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased because now it's a part of Well, you did the song just she brought it back to life. It's not been going for a long time, so people seem to see it now. So, yeah. I was just wondering. As well, do you have any like advice on how to be an actress one day? Ooh, I feel like my start to acting was kind of unconventional. Yeah. But I would say definitely get involved in whatever community uh, is surrounding you with performance, whether it's theater or, or local short films or, or anything that films, if you can be an extra in a show that films around where you are, um, that's a very good idea. Uh, and definitely take as many risks as you feel comfortable with. I think that that's, that's always, it's always a good thing. Yeah, it's so romantic, isn't it? Yeah. Are you okay if I can have a hug with that song? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
ladies, please welcome Eduardo Franco. Liverpool, let's make some noise for this fabulous cast. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's hear it one more time for him, Liverpool. I'm excited to chat with you, but first of all, a few questions from me as I fangirl. We'll start with you, Eduardo. How are you guys enjoying Comic-Con Liverpool so far? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's cool so far, man. Um, got here yesterday. It's been so nice meeting all of you and talking to you, and everyone's been so warm and friendly, even if the weather hasn't been that <laughs> way. What would you be? I'd be an orangutan. <laughs> Straight up, straight up, dude. Paying no taxes, but still just like, just, just able to do everything that we can do, but like more, you know? It'd be dope, it'd be amazing, it'd be so sick. Yeah, just no, thank you all for coming out. I know you've traveled from lots of different places and it's been pretty difficult with the storm and everything. So yeah, it means a lot that you all came out and came to see us. So thank you very much. Amazing and cool, and uh, we can only really do what we do because because of you guys. So, yeah. I do, I do. I'm very excited to see you here. Um, I've got a question for you all. Um, what is your favorite 80s song? Favorite? Sorry, what? 80s song. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of 80s songs. That's, that's so many. I was going to ask Harrison if he has a favorite, but I'm not sure what you were doing in the 80s. <laughs> you know? I would say anything Queen, though I know that that it kind of is, is 70s and 80s, but uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, there really are so many. I was thinking of, I was thinking of Boys Don't Cry by The Cure, but I, I don't, I, don't I, I feel like that's late, that could be late 70s though. That, that could be like late, late 70s, uh, yeah, um, Wham, Last Christmas. Wham, now that's a No, I know, no. You're like, no. Nah. Aliens came to Earth, you'd show them that. <laughs> 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 You'd have to explain Christmas first and then join the song. <laughs> so it's just, we just had a, had a Christmas party, so it was, yeah, it's in my... But any final words for your fans? Let's start with you, Eduardo. I'm just giggling at this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> final words, uh... Not like forever, just for now. <laughs> Yeah, take me to the bag. I made it weird again, sorry. Don't ever do that on my stage, <laughs> ever again. Uh, uh, nothing, man. Thank you guys so much for showing love. I appreciate you guys, man. It's, it's, it's an honor to be here, man. Thank you guys. Your comrades. Oh, it's so amazing. I feel like, especially right now, there are, are so many reasons that people haven't been together or, or aren't able to be together. And whenever I get the opportunity to, I, I really, I jump at it uh, because it just makes me that much happier. Uh, and I also feel like I, I get to meet so many new people when I'm at these events that it, it really just strengthens every relationship that, that I already have. And, and then adding so many new people, it makes me so excited. And you guys have outdone yourselves in Liverpool with the cosplay. I mean, there's so many yes. amazing cosplayers out here. What's some of the best cosplay that you guys have seen at Comic-Con? Do any stick out to you, any specific cosplayers? Other than the ones that are dressed as characters of you, which I'm sure is very rewarding. Uh, I, saw, I saw a great... Uh... Yeah, Argyle. I was like, I, I was going to say, I saw a great Eduardo. I saw a great Argyle. Uh, today. I mean, everything. Full piece. He looked, yeah, like, almost, yeah. I asked him, I was like, how, how much hair have you eaten today? And he was like, quite a bit. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw, uh, 
uh, Boba Fett, I saw a Stormtrooper, I saw a uh, Predator as well. Yeah. The creature, not a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you clarified. Yeah, yeah. Until they revealed themselves. Oh, no. I think I've just changed my favorite character. I could have probably seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep your mouth shut. It got weird already. It got so weird already. I knew it would get a little weird. Gabriella, what, what's it been like to see the cosplayers? And just, my gosh, the, the masses of people, right? It's a, it's a, it's like sensory overload, these Comic-Cons, right? Yes. I feel like, especially with people that were on, on my queue, there were so many people from so many different places, not just even specific to the UK. Uh, it was it was so exciting. I even heard people that were from the US coming all the way here uh, just just for this uh, that hadn't you know necessarily been to any of the, the US ones. So I feel like that's great too. Uh, but I feel like the cosplays are always one of my favorite parts, specifically because I, I grew up in, in a day and age and, and a demographic where I was a part of so many groups and so many fandoms from such a young age. And I had such an appreciation for the art of cosplaying and, and how similar it is to performance and acting. Uh, so getting to see people do that just makes me so, so happy. And I always love talking about people's common favorite shows or, or favorite stories with them, even if they have nothing to do with the ones that I've ever been a part of. Yeah, the passion is there and they love yes. discussing it and everyone feels very accepted at Comic-Con. Yes, yeah. yes. Incredible. It's very nice for me too because I feel like it's exactly the type of person that I am. So it's, it's exciting for me. It's great. I'd love to hear that the celebrities also have their fan moments just like we do, you know? So we're gonna, get, we're gonna get to our fan questions here. It's gonna be exciting, but I have a question for Charlie. So we had, oh, no pressure. We've had so many actors here discuss, um, you know, getting into character roles and getting into accents. So I would love to know how you did that. We had talked to um, Ed Westwick. Uh -huh. And a couple other uh, Brits that said they listened to a lot of Eminem to be inspired to learn the American oh. accent. What was it like for you learning um, that? I th yeah, that, that wasn't my way into it, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, it depends. Different different roles, you know. I think for for me, when I f find the voice of the character, that's that's kind of how I channel it, getting into it. Um, but specifically for this, the you know the kind of Midwest American accent. Um, how did I mean? Seventies, like, seventies <laughs> um, is kind of groovy too. Disco, you wouldn't want to go to the disco. Yeah, disco. Seventies is good. The the, fashion is really good. Does, is it like does civilization have to like exist? Like, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I'd can, love to like be in a prehistoric. Yeah, time. can I go ride a T Rex or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, good job. Yeah, you see this? Yeah. yeah Thank like, you. Oh, we, we can I go play. back in time and still pay taxes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, Charlie, yeah, I go back in time and uh, I still have to work a living, you know, to make a living. Me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go back in time and still have to pay for food and water. Man, nah, man, let's go out there and get it, dude. <laughs> you know? Ride that T-Rex. Yeah. Right? Ash on it that gets all over your fingers? Uh -huh. Yeah, every time it's got leaves on it, it's got the ash on the fingers after. I'm always like... Like, I, it's fine if I go with a group of friends and we're all getting and that's the way it is, like, that's okay. Yeah. But, like, prefer, like if it's me alone, I prefer no No, yeah. no leaves on the pizza, because then it's, they're, it's, they have to be the ones they, like, put in, like, a brick oven thing. So it always ends up like... What's wrong with the ash on the, on the fingers? I don't know. It's just always, like, the way they make it or whatever, for some reason, and it's always got to have the leaves on it, you know? <laughs> always, always, I swear, dude. Yeah. Too fancy. Yeah. That was, I don't know where we're like that. Insightful, so we're getting to know a lot about you guys. Thank you very much. We've got a question up here on the right, microphone number three at the top. How did you start acting? How did you start acting? How did you start acting? <laughs> I wish mine was like cool. It's not, I don't think it's like that interesting. <laughs> it's pretty whatever. 
I don't know if you guys have like amazing stories. Like I was walking down the street and some guy saw me and then, you know what I mean? Like, do you guys have something like that? Cause those stories are always like so inspiring, so amazing to hear. <laughs> no? Okay. Sorry, man. I, uh... Wait, so what happened? Yeah, wait, wait. How did you, how did you start acting? Is no, it like, I know. Wait, how did you start acting? What do I gotta say? What are you gonna say? I'm leaving it open. I'm not gonna shut up if I keep going. <laughs> okay. No, no, that's... that's yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say that I... just like community theater um, when I was young. I guess, well, it's, I mean, it's kind of a story. I I was going to like a sports camp with my older sister and I didn't really want to be there and I sprained my ankle on the first day so they put me in drama camp, which I did end up really liking. And then, and then there was just like, and then, you know, I just kind of really liked it and I had uh, supportive parents. Um, Thank you. Um, who would drive me to auditions and to play rehearsals and just always encouraged me to keep doing what I what I liked. Um, and yeah, it's always weird the way things snowball and kind of grow from there. Get a little, uh, you know, crazy. But that's that's how I got started. Did I board up? Okay. Uh, any air supply? I don't know if that's eighties. Air supply, yeah. Uh, making love out of nothing at all. That song's crazy. Your club, you like you guys said, there's a lot. There's a lot. A lot. Uh, the outfield, your love. <laughs> right. Sorry, how does it go? One more question. Another one. Another one. Go ahead. Right now. Go. 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 Favorite color. Ooh, we're going to get some insight here. Go. Favorite color. Blue. Favorite color. Blue. Also mine, blue. Mine is also blue. Oh. Wow. I love a good burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> like a nice. deep red. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. I just want to be respectful of what would you pay? I'd be an orangutan. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up, dude. Pay no taxes, but still just like, just, just able to do everything that we can do, but like more. You know? It'd be dope. It'd be amazing. It'd be so sick. They can like do amazing things with their mouth. Like, they can like flip pages on a book with their like lips. It's so good. It's so dope. They can drive cars. I've seen this. This is crazy. They just don't pay taxes. That's it. Um, I love it. My legs just gonna be shorter. What about you guys? I'm gonna follow that. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> nah. I don't know. I always thought being like some kind of cat. It's hard to be a cat. Yeah. I'm not sure if big cat or little cat. But little cat. <laughs> sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Cause I know what. Nah. Uh, any ideas? Any, I think uh, maybe like, I mean like a monkey, but like a smaller monkey. I don't think I'd be in a ring. Like a howler? Yeah, something a bit more. A baboon. You know. <laughs> Your ass cheek's gotta be out of your baboon. Maybe more of 
chimpanzee, a bit more, you know. I guess like a spider. Yeah. Or a spider, a bit more skittish. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. So far, um, it's been so nice working with Jeremy. Um, he's been really great. Um, we've had so Too far from home for me. I, I was born in Leeds, yeah. Yorkshire, um, and yeah, grew up in Bridlington. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like a chant for Bridlington. Um, but yeah, so this is an expectation. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for Liverpool. Show your love. Thank you so much. You guys were awesome.